Hello and welcome to the 2018-2019 ACEN Annual Report Orientation Video Series. It's a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, my name is Corwin. I am Operations Coordinator for the ACEN as well as the moderator of the Annual Report. And in this video, we are covering Section 5, Faculty. In this series, we are dealing with a hypothetical constituent program that is a single associate program. If you've been following these videos since uh, the beginning, then you know that we just went through Section 4, Outcomes, and you are now in Section 5. Section 5, Faculty, has not changed that much since last year. Um, so it should be, uh, for those of you familiar with the annual report who might have uh, completed it last year, nothing really all that different here. What we are asking here in this first part for full-time faculty, and we are asking everyone to count each faculty member only once, as in an unduplicated head count. On 10-14-2019, what was the total number of full-time exclusive and shared faculty teaching in the ACEN accredited nursing programs offered by the institution? We are concerned with only the ACEN accredited nursing programs. Um, so the number of full-time exclusive and shared faculty, whatever that number is, for the sake of argument, I'm putting in 100 of the faculty enumerated in the previous question, which in this case is these 100, how many were exclusive to each individual program as listed below? We only have one program here, associates, so I'm going to say 50 of them were. Now, for those programs, or for those constituents of ours who have multiple programs, who will be filling out annual reports for multiple programs, uh, let's say in this case, if it were an associate in a baccalaureate program, there would be also a baccalaureate uh, field down here so that we could know how many were exclusive to that program as well, and so on and so forth. But for this one, we only have one program that they are filling out this annual report for. So 50 of them, at least in our hypothetical example, are exclusive to teaching in the associate program. Next, we have the, um, well, I'll back up before I launch into that. As it says here in big red letters for the following questions, please answer based on the total number of full-time exclusive and shared faculty teaching and ACE and accredited nursing programs as identified above. And that is this first number here of this first question. So for this, we are wanting to know on that date, how many full-time nursing faculty members held a doctoral degree as their highest degree earned? I'm going to make it up and say 10 and so on and so forth. The next question, same date. How many full-time nursing faculty members held a master's degree as their highest degree earned? Bachelors, associates, diploma, um, and held a practical diploma slash certificate. I will point out if there are f uh, faculty members that are enumerated in this uh, answer up here that do not have a particular um, degree as their highest one, like if they're, uh, if all of in this hypothetical example, if all of the nursing, f the hundred nursing faculty as outlined, if they all have either a doctoral degree or a master's degree, let's set that up, then we would answer zero for the rest. Please do not leave any fields blank in this form. When it comes time to submit, it will kick it out in error, uh, and you'll have to go in and answer anyway. Um, so the next question, were there any full-time faculty on overload? If you say no, nothing happens. If you say yes, it asks, um, if there were a full-time faculty on overload, why did they teach it? And again, this is multiple choice. You can choose whatever, uh, options do or do not apply. And you can also elaborate with an other, um, then we asked about how many full-time faculty vacant positions were available. In this case, we're going to say 10. Is your current institution trying to fill all full-time faculty vacant positions? You can say yes, or you can say no. And if you say no, it asks how many you are trying to fill. Now, one question that did come up multiple times last year. Um, if you say there were zero faculty uh, vacant positions, what do you do? How do you answer this next question? Y it's okay to say yes, that you're trying to fill all full-time faculty vacant positions. It's just that there are none. Um, so that would be an acceptable way to answer that. Of course, if you have any questions at any time while completing the annual report, feel free to send an email to annualreport at acenursing.org or give us a call, 404-975-5000, during our daily office hours of 2 p.m. 
Eastern Standard Time to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or attend one of our webinars, the dates for which can be found on our annual report landing page at acenursing.org slash annual report. All right, the second half of Section 5, part-time faculty. Pretty much the same as full-time faculty. What was the total number of part-time exclusive and shared faculty teaching in the ACE and accredited nursing programs offered by the institution? Of the faculty enumerated in the previous question, that's this 100 here, how many were exclusive? So it's part-time exclusive to the program. I'll say 20. Then we want to know regarding the part-time faculty, uh, based on the number entered up here, how many of them earned cert or held certain degrees as their highest degree earned? So we can go in there, fill that out. If they have none, put zero. And that is section five in a nutshell. Um, of course, if there are any questions at all at any time, feel free to reach out to either annual report at acenursing.org or give us a call, 404 975 5000. Um, the next, we're, we're reaching the end, the next video in our undergraduate annual report series, section six, is coming up. Hope to see you there. If not, have a wonderful day. I hope I was able to uh, shed some light on the annual report for you. And uh, if you need anything, reach out. Thank you very much. Have a good one.